Alright guys, we are playing some more Medieval Total War 2, I mean Medieval 2 Total War, my mistake. I'm playing as the Turks, um, I can't remember if this is my fifth uh, Medieval Battle, or fourth, I can't remember, I haven't done a me Medieval uh, Online Battle in ages, I'm mean, doing lots of third age, it's pretty much the same thing. But anyway, let's look at my army, um, I've got one, two, three, four squads, I think, or oh, some might be hiding, I think I've got about four squads of these, uh, spear, I think they're just spearmen, but they've got some weird name that I do not want to pronounce because I just can't be bothered. I have about five of these archers, I think, because I had quite a lot of archers because they look like pretty pretty good archers. They, even though they're not the best, but I was trying to save my cash and trying to get more. So I've got some of these uh, Jan Janissary. Janissary? Is that right? Oh, yeah, I can barely see, but uh, oh well, it's, it's really light in this room. So I've got about two of them, and they are actually decently upgraded. My spearmen didn't have any upgrades. I just had the num had the num number advantage for spearmen, but I had a lot of um, these upgraded units. They were taught to take up the damage, they and these guys will do the damage. I have two of these cav all together. These are oh, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm gonna, not even going to try. Um, but I have two of them. They're pretty strong cav. They're like calathrax, really. But anyway, I have these um these men. These are Nafutan. These guys will throw like grenades, and they're pretty awesome. I've never used these before. It's why I wanted to use this team because I've never seen them before. I saw a video of these guys. Of these guys, I was like, I want to try them out. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, here's my other cav. Um, so the battle has already started, uh, ready. Um, I am versing uh, Mr. Mr. Z ZP83. He's a, a friend of mine on Steam, and we've been talking about doing a battle for ages. We tried a third age, but it didn't work. So we did medieval, and um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I, by the way, I didn't get to finish this battle. Well, it, it did finish, but I do not know what happens, really. Because I actually had to leave. I had people over us, but I just left it on and just left the, left the battle going. So um, I, I'm actually quite interested to see how this ends, really. Because it was, um, yeah, I just want to <laughs> see how it ends. Anyway, he's playing as, um, as the French, or France. Um, he's got a pretty mixed army. Lots of uh, uh, dis uh, dismounted like swordsmen, knights. He's got a lot, lot, lot of crossbowmen. Quite a big army. I was quite scared as well. And um, this guy plays a lot more medieval than me. Like, if you add him on Steam, I'm, I'll, I'll provide a, a link to his Steam in the in the description. He's played like a, like a lot of medieval. Like, you just tell t like tell on the side of how long how long he's played this game. And um, he's played it for quite a while compared to like compared to me. Like, I'd never played this game. <laughs> um, so these are guys, these guys are these grenade throwers, and I really want to get them into action. So we'll, hopefully we'll see them. Um, in a bit, do some damage. And anyway, my archers were really the highlight, I reckon, because I just had I had a lot of them and they were spaced out, so they wouldn't take that many hits. Plus, his crossbowmen are shorter range, so I'll outrange him. So his crossbowmen won't be really going for my men. But anyway, it's gonna be really bright. Actually, I might turn the brightness down because this is oops. Uh, graphics. I must turn it down a bit because it's this battle feels so bright. Now. That, yeah, that, that looks way, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know to you, but it looks better for me. I um, I really don't know what these guys will do to these swordsmen, but they seem to be doing quite a lot of damage. These had um, experience and defense upgrades. It was a, a 10k 1v1, by the way. But anyway, I'm going to surround, the, surround these uh, dismounted noble knights, and they will rout, I believe. Or, or they might. You never know. But anyway, he's going to also... Look, all my archers are fighting these guys before they can charge me. But look at that. Look at all the arrows. Look at that. It's beautiful. And I think because he had quite a large army, I don't think he had many upgrades, so these guys will take a lot of damage. But anyway, by the time they get here, this squad's pretty much destroyed. I've surrounded them with spear military, so this is what I was trying to do. Get these guys in the front line and then try and do some flanking with these um upgraded um like they're like they're like pikemen. But anyway, so it was pretty much a um behind attack, a flank attack or whatever. Then he did it to me and I did it to him again with my cav, and that was a pretty devastating charge. Look at that. Even though I'm quite, I'm quite losing quite a few because these units are quite strong. But anyway, I've taken out a lot of his infantry already, just with my like quick flanking skills. Not because of upgrades, because quick flanking skills. Over here, he's destroying the spear squad. Absolutely destroyed them because this spear squad has no upgrades, and plus they're versing really good swordsmen. Over here on the other side of the battlefield, let's look back in the action. Look at these guys. They're throwing, they're throwing um, spe um the bombs. Let's see how much damage they're actually doing. Look at that. That is so cool. It's one of the, definitely one of the cool things about this game. I, f I found that really awesome. But now I'm going to aim, aim at this squad, I believe. I think this is the only um, part in the actual battle that I remember me seeing them throw these. I, I don't even remember seeing that, to be honest. But yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we can see these guys um, chuck some of these bomb things, grenades. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. I didn't know they'd do this much damage. So, yeah, obviously, obviously these are. I'm versing spearmen. 
But it looks like these are really going to help my spearmen if, if I can keep throwing these um, grenade things. They're pretty awesome. Look at that. Boom. That's kind of like two per grenade. That is crazy. That looks pretty awesome. Uh, these are my new favorite units. I'm going to be the Turks from now on. <laughs> Also, to be careful with these guys because obviously they don't have any much armor or anything like that. So, yeah, well, I did have I did have a cav squad as you saw before, but they are going to be way b back here. It's actually quite in zoom in. But they're going to get owned back here. But what I tried to do, I knew I was going to get owned anyway, and I couldn't really outrun them. So what I did, I was trying to get them as far as away as the battle as I could. So these cav would now take ages to get back in the battle in the main battle. So here, I pretty much killed most of his infantry. As you can see, percentage enemies kill 65, and I've, I've only lost 55%, uh, so it's pretty cool. Over here, the spear squad is going to charge these crossbowmen, but because these spearmen are barely any upgrades, they're not going to do much to these um, crossbowmen, sadly, even though these cr crossbowmen probably have got better army than my spearmen. <laughs> um, my archers are very long ranged, and they're, still, they're just taking so many. They I mean, they're taking so many kills. Here, just taking out these. um. Chivalric Knights, I think that's how you say it. Apologise if I said that wrong. Um, I do have a leader, leader cav squad. Here he is, and this was definitely like the highlight of my army. This cav squad is amazingly, amazingly strong, and they did so much damage throughout this whole battle. But anyway, um, obviously my spearmen would, would not win this fight because they're just spearmen. Like I think they're not they're like spearmen, spear military or something. But as you can see, all these kills back here from my of uh, those grenade thrower guys, and they are pretty awesome. Over here, this is where I killed all his cav at the beginning. I think I missed this as well because I got my spearmen behind them. So my spearmen are quite useful. But anyway, if you look over here, I'm now getting chased by these guys. But um, obviously, obviously my guys don't have much armor, so that means they can run faster, and also they won't get as tired as much. As you see, they're they're still warmed up. These guys are, are winded, and these guys are winded as well. So they're gonna be heaps tired anyway. So um, what I was planning to do is try and get them away, and then if I could win at one of these fights up here, I could come and tr try and back him up with my cav maybe but um we'll have to see what happens there's another infantry fight over here but I'm getting absolutely owned now because I'm just been outnumbered completely with up by infantry so over here my spearmen are still taking on these uh, crossbowmen and as you see I'm not even winning this fight that much um now I'm going to use fire flaming arrows to take out these um these cav because these cav are pretty much surrounded by every corner so I'm just getting a text that I haven't replied to earlier. My my bad. So, sorry, Matthew. That's the guy who texts me. Um, yeah, these cav are going to keep on shooting them down. Um, I'm trying to remember where my leader squad is. I don't know where he's gone. I know that he comes and helps this squad. Oh, wait. Is it, is it, oh, it's already happened. I, I, I was just going to say that um, they came and helped this crossbow. Them help these spearmen take on these crossbowmen. But I wasn't sure when. But it uh, looks like they're doing it now. Having a bit of trouble trying to get through there. Come on. Come on, squeeze through. Oh dear, I lost a number. So many down to four. That's quite uh, terrible. I've lost a lot of a lot of cav, but um, this guy's losing a lot of cav as well. I'm shooting a lot in the downs, especially with all that robes on their horses. That's easily flammable. <laughs> it's like them on fire very easily. I'm not sure that actually does does the trick, but we'll see. So the, obviously the battle is actually quite close to ending, but I don't know what happened. I'm not sure if he admitted defeat or whatever. I, I really don't know. We'll have to see. But um, now these guys are getting too far away. I mean, it was actually close to the border, so I these are only spearmen, so I thought maybe I could take them on, because these guys had experience and uh, defense as well. I wanted to keep these guys quite defense, and look, they actually did. These Because these guys... The, the main thing is that these guys were tired. Remember that. They're very tired, so that means they're more lucky to route. My guys are winded, but they also had more upgrades than these guys, so... um, It's also important not, not to keep you guys running for too long because if th 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 they're more likely to start a route that's why um people go oh why did I get a mass route why did I get mass route in a lot of total war games but um like mainly run total war and people go well mainly because you guys are exhausted and that's why that's the reason why they're routing anyway over here because my cav here looks like we're gonna win this fight against these crossbowmen even though they're still pretty much owning my spearmen I've lost more way more spearmen than I've killed crossbowmen um, let's look at this cav squad. Remember this cav squad from earlier? They lost so many, just lost so many units. Over here, you see just burnt horses everywhere. I think they're routing. I'm not sure. No, they do route eventually, I think. Actually, no, wait, no, they don't. So I'm getting confused over here. Now, these crossmen are now taking on some of these men. 
That's uh, that's pretty crap because he's got a lot of these crossbowmen left. These are pretty much all his men he's got left. I've killed all, all of his infantry already, I think. So these are all the damage from my archers. So my archers are pretty deadly. I think I gave them the bronze def bronze attack. I'm not sure, but I'm um, over here. Let's zoom in this map a bit because I'm getting a bit confused. So over here, who do we have? We have these uh, uh these these spearmen that are routing of their team. I've got some more of these um Nafutan, but I'm gonna call them just grenade throwers really. <laughs> Explosive men. Explosive men. Um over here I believe these this is a spear squad and a yeah, a sword squad. And these guys again are getting look, these guys are exhausted. My archers are very tired as well, but these guys they're gonna get absolutely owned if they get in battle. These these guys are very light, they don't have much armor compared to um them. So they're just going to have a nice little jog away when these guys are pretty much exhausted. This is when I lost my general, he just couldn't h handle it anymore. And by the way, this is playing on the d on the village, I think, or the town. It's a nice map. I, I love maps that have like a village in them. It would be really, it would've been cool if we could just sort of use this, but um, I have to use that n another time. Maybe do like a Robin Hood thing, because it reminds me of um, Nottingham. Anyway, um, his cav are uh, routing over him? I don't know they're not. They actually did get got out of the fight because my guys pulled out pulled out swords. That's what I like about this game. These guys are actually really really strong. Like I think it's all archers really. Well, most of the archers that are more higher upgraded, at the higher rank archers, they're really really strong in combat. That's why you saw these crossbowmen doing so well as well. Also, these crossbowmen have to get a lot closer, and these men are, are very bunched, so I'll have more of a chance of killing them. But if you look at my men over here. Oh, they're not so. They're, they're a little bit spread out, but they, as you saw at the beginning of the game, they were very spread out. But um, this is because they were sort of bunched up to um, fight that that cav. So yeah, it looks like the game's almost over. Not that long to go. I really do not. Th I think at this point, this is when I this is when I left. I had no idea what's happened. Uh, so apparently, we're winning the battle. So now, because of that, look, you see what I've done here. I think that this was just before almost I left. So it sort of ended like as I... Yeah, he did, he did admit defeat. So I would have won this fight here. But oh, this is why I look. My archers were obviously destroying his... Um, if you look over here, let's look over here. So it was, it was a clear victory. That's pretty awesome, even though the kills are pretty much the same. So my archers were definitely going to... He knew that my archers were going to own these guys. Plus, I did say I had to go, but um, it would have been a close fight with these archers, but I think I would have won because I had the range, I had my men spread out, and yeah. Also, I had, I, had a men, I had men all over the field. These guys would eventually come and help. As you see, I have these Nafutan... Nafutan? <laughs> uh, grenade throwers. And they would have... Um, so these these two squads were were pretty much gone anyway. I think one of them started routing, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it was a it was a really good game. Um, sadly, I didn't get to see it to the end, but um, it pretty much ended as I sort of left anyway. So let's look at the, let's look at the battle statistics. Uh, casualties inflicted. These are my um. Is it, I swear that there's meant to be a U after Q, but oh well. Kakukukulu. <laughs> they got 134 kills. That's my that was my that was my general squad, and that was pretty awesome. They did really well. Let's look at my archers. I think this is what this is what they're called, Ottoman, because that was my yeah. Those are my pikemen. I had three of them. They were pretty upgraded. These are my spear military. I didn't have any um upgrades on there, so these are definitely my archers. And they all got about a hundred kills each besides that squad. So 112, 110, 118. My Nafutan got like 64 and 58 kills. That's pretty impressive compared to this spear squad that got six and this squad that got two. So as you see, these squad these um guys really did um they did really well. Um, I was really happy with them. They even gained experience as well. That's pretty awesome. Well, one of them did. But yeah, it was a really good game. I enjoyed this battle a lot. I, and um, we're gonna, we're gonna, me and him are going to do some more medieval whenever he's online again. I think he's online now, actually. We'll see. But um, yeah. Anyway, um, this, I'm going to upload this tomorrow. I'm, I'm, but obviously, it was yesterday when I recorded this. But um, don't try not to get co too confused. Um, I should have another Dale campaign up next. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thirsty and sunny out.